Hey guys, welcome back to Life with Mrs B. Welcome back to another food shopping haul. Today, I've been to Lidl, as always. Can I ever go anywhere for my weekly grocery haul and not go to Lidl? I don't think I can. The kids are out playing in the garden, trying to get out some of that energy, because oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, they are full of energy today. Absolutely full of it. So I'm trying to get them outside, get some energy ran out of them, and I can film this and then put it away, and then we're sitting down to do school work. But anyway, I digress from the haul. 46 pounds and some pennies, I think I think it was closer to 47. And not pictured here, a thing each for the kids from the bakery. So let's jump in and I'll show you what I got. So here's the overview of everything that I got. Didn't get a whole lot, oh, well, I don't know. Did I get a whole lot? I'm not sure. I didn't feel like I needed a whole lot this week. I don't think that's bad, 46 pounds to feed us for a week. I do have some things left over from last week and like kind of stock items and stuff, but I don't think that's bad. I'll probably need to pick up a loaf at some point, but that only costs like 50p. So let's share what I got. Over here we've got fruits and veggies. We got some mini cucumbers. I wouldn't normally buy these, um, but our girl's seen them and he's like, mum, mum, can we get the snack cucumbers? I was like, sure. I do have large cucumbers and he's like, but these ones don't require any chopping. So fair dues to him. And then a full size cucumber. And then I got a couple of red apples. I think Oban is the only one that likes red apples for these. These apples are really, really big compared to the ones I got last week. This one looks a little sad. Like, I don't know if you can see, but they're just, these ones are just much, much bigger. So I only got four. Uh, and as I said, it's really only Oban that likes them. They had them loose. So I managed to get them, put them in my little mesh bag. Same with the bacon potatoes. They had loose bacon potatoes. I think for all of these, it was about £1.50. <laughs> and these, they're actually really, really heavy. They weighed two and a half kilos. Sky weighed them. She picked them out, weighed them, then worked out how much it cost. It was quite a good uh, math exercise. Um, but these potatoes are huge. <laughs> like they're really, really big bacon potatoes. They had ones in packets as well. It was like four for, 55 pence, but they were about half that size. So I got fat, no, I got six, one for each of us and two for Thomas. And I don't know, the kids will probably, the kids will be all right with the small ones, but Sky picked herself. I think she picked this one because it's literally humongous. Anyway, some Granny Smith apples, some little baby potatoes. I don't have these on the recipe, but I thought I could like boil them. And then when they're like, and then like squish them. Have you seen people do that? They make like, I don't know what you would call it, squished potatoes, <laughs> squished roasted potatoes. Looks good. Go and Google what I mean. You like squish them with a glass or something. Go and Google it. <laughs> and then a big cauliflower, some mini Cosberg lettuce. I got these corn on the cobs. They were reduced to 20 pence. So I got some for us. Obviously they're not for anyone else, are they? <laughs> and then I got a bag of spinach. Now, if you know me, I'm not like, I say this every time I buy something organic. I don't really care about organic stuff, but the, the spinach that wasn't organic was absolutely humongous. I mean, it was about four times the size of this. And that is great if you like spinach, but we don't like spinach. you will be like, Paula, what are you buying spinach for then? I'm buying spinach because I'm making soup and I can kind of hide it in the soup and nobody will see. But generally, nobody likes spinach. Some white grapes or green grapes, a bunch of bananas, bushel of bananas, a big giant broccoli. This is just one broccoli. Look how big it is. It doesn't look that big like that, but look, it's pretty big, isn't it? I was quite happy because they're just, they sell the broccoli not by weight, just by like one broccoli and this is the price, so I always try and get the biggest one. Some dairy-free spread and then a bag of frozen peas. Meat-wise, I didn't really need a whole lot. I didn't need these, but they were reduced because they're going out of date soon. They're going out of date tomorrow, I think. I think today's the 22nd. So I got these and I'll just put them in the freezer. They were 87 pence for a kilo of chicken drumsticks. That's really good because they're on offer just now for 125. But then because they were going out of date, 30% off. So boom, I got them. And then these were in the reduced section for 20 pence each. They're like little chicken tikka slices, pasties. I got two packets of chicken tikka. One of cheese and onion, some sausage rolls. These are all freezable, so we're not gonna eat these, but I will freeze them for 20 pence. Yes, I will freeze them. Thomas can defrost them and take them to work or whatever. Some chicken breast for the chicken soup I'm gonna make. And then after church, 
on Sunday, we did this last week, we had these. They were so good. Again, these are the hot and spicy chicken fillets. These are the southern fried chicken goujons. They're for me and Thomas. They're for the kids. And a bag of home style chips. I can always make my own chips, but nobody actually likes my own chips. It's just me that likes them. Me and Thomas, the kids don't touch them. So I just got a bag of these ones that were like 80 pence or something. I am sure they will be best pleased. Put these in a wrap with some cheese, some lettuce, some cucumber, a bit of sauce serve with some chips and they're all happy. And the plus side is Thomas will make this after church and I don't have to make it so I get a day off cooking. Then moving over to kind of cupboardy stuff, I got some caster sugar. You can never have enough caster sugar. I mean you probably could. I like caster sugar because I do a lot of baking so I just keep it in the cupboard. Some smooth peanut butter, some beef stock cubes, chicken stock cubes. Now I don't think the kids are going to like these. We shall see. These are serene bars. Is that is that what you call them? Serene? I don't know. Or is it Sorin? <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure they're serene. Um, yeah, they've. I think they've tried them once and they didn't like them. But these ones are toffee apple or they also had another flavour. I think it was chocolate orange. Got the toffee apple. See if they like them. I don't know. It's only like you only get five in it. So if they don't like them, then it's not the end of the world. Thomas will probably eat them. And then some lemon juice, some vanilla, again for like baking cupcakes and stuff like that, or muffins, raspberry jam, two tins of red kidney beans, two tins of chickpeas, some macaroni pasta. Sky is going to make cheesy macaroni for us on Thursday, so good for Sky. She's learning cooking. So, um, and when I say she's going to make that, she's going to make like a whole cheese sauce, a roux. She's going to do it all. Obviously, I'll guide her, but like I'll let her do it all. And then some wholemeal pitas, a little baby tiger bread loaf for to go with the soup today. I thought that would be really good. Some sweet chili rice crackers, wholemeal bread, and then, oh, little, you sucked me in, you sucked me in. These biscuits, these are in the Christmas section. My little has a giant, giant Christmas section already, right as you walk in the door. It is humongous, and it has got so much going on if you're local then you probably, and if you've been to Lidl, then you know what I'm talking about. But honestly, it is humongous already. Sky seen these spiced biscuits. She picked them up and she went, oh, they're actually so heavy. They weigh, let's see, do they have a weight? 600 grams, which doesn't sound like a lot, but they are very, very heavy. So spiced biscuits, it doesn't really say what the spices are. I looked in the ingredients, it just says cinnamon and spices. So I don't know if they're going to be kind of like gingerbready, but... I thought the kids could try them because they were like, oh, these look so nice. I was like, put them in. That's fine. I'll be the cool mum. <laughs> and then three cartons of soy milk. We just use soy milk. If you notice, don't buy any dairy milk. Um, I just buy this and we use it for porridge, overnight oats. We don't eat a lot of breakfast foods in our house, actually, but Thomas kind of likes overnight oats. And what else? I make macaroni or cheese sauce with this. And honestly... You can't even tell it's not dairy milk. I do put dairy cheese in it, but you can't tell that this is not dairy milk. Honestly, give it a try if you're interested in cutting down on your dairy. And it's actually, it's got a lot of stuff going on in it. Like, it's quite good. It's also got calcium, ribo, riboflavin. I don't know what that is. Vitamin B12 and D. Vitamin B12 is a good vitamin if you are veggie or vegan. Some people will take a supplement of it as well. But anyway, yes, we got that. Four cartons of tomato passata for like pasta sauce, a what else, pizza sauce, that kind of thing. Gnocchi, because I'm making chicken gnocchi soup today. Fruit bakes, these are like neutral green bars, really nice. Eggs, they only had these ones, they didn't have any large ones. Sad face, I prefer large ones. Some olive oil, and then last but not least, this is the only non-food item today. Some multivitamins, because we're almost out of multivitamins. Let's see, how many do we have left? I don't know, maybe like three days worth. So I got some more and that's it guys. I got these yesterday at Sainsbury's mini donuts, 50 pence. They're disgusting, don't buy them. <laughs> I do need, here should be some toilet roll, but I'm going to Costco tonight. So I'll probably just get toilet roll there and then that'll last us for a while because I buy like 45 rolls of it, which lasts us for about six weeks, but we are going on holiday soon. so. That'll probably be us for toilet roll until Christmas. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Future Paula here. I found these as well. That we're sitting in the hall. They forgot to get brought into the kitchen. They're about to go in here. And 
back to current power. And that's my haul, guys. What do you think? Good value for money? Can you see what kind of meals I'm going to make? I didn't tell you it's my meals, but can you see what I'm going to make? I do not know. Anyway, I'm going to go and put this away. Get the kids to try these. We shall see. Give this them. Give this to them to fuel them for their schoolwork until I make that delicious chicken soup. But yeah, guys, thank you for watching, and I will see you on Friday, guys, for a foodie Friday. It's going to be a good one this week. Sky's in it, so you guys come and see me on Friday. Bye.